And we begin with breaking news now on former President Donald Trump's new effort to break free from his criminal indictment right here in Fulton County. Trump and his allies are accused of interfering in the 2020 presidential election right here in Georgia. I'm Savannah Louie. And I'm Blair Miller. It's good to have you here. Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon is live tonight outside the Fulton County Courthouse. And Doug, it sounds like Trump is now claiming freedom of speech protects him from the election meddling charges. Right, that is exactly what this filing is claiming and is asking the judge in this case to throw out every single charge that the former president faces here in Fulton County. And that wasn't the only development we got in this case today. Just a couple of hours ago, Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, after months and months of trying, just learned that he will not be facing trial in federal court. He will do it here with the rest of these defendants. In a new legal filing Monday, Donald Trump's Georgia attorneys asked a judge to toss out all of the charges he's facing in a sweeping Georgia indictment. Their argument? Trump was simply exercising free speech under the First Amendment when he raised concerns about the state's 2020 election. The consideration of free speech, says Trump's lead counsel Stephen Sadow in that document, quote, demands a pretrial remedy, and that remedy is dismissal of the indictment, unquote. It's not the first time someone charged in the indictment has tried to get their charges tossed out, but none so far have been successful. In a statement to Atlanta News First, Sadow said Fulton County prosecutors are charging the former president for, quote, challenging the 2020 presidential election process, which tens of millions of Americans recognized was flawed and unjust. Also on Monday, Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, was denied his attempts to move his case out of Fulton County and into federal court, where he stood to have a bigger and possibly more lenient jury pool. An appeals court decided that Meadows' argument that federal officers charged with crimes must stand trial in federal court didn't apply, as he no longer held his White House position. And Meadows can appeal that decision again, but it will have to be heard by the Supreme Court. He is widely expected to do just that. And getting back to that filing by Trump's legal team here in Fulton County, no comment on that from the district attorney's office today, and also no word on when it might be heard here at Fulton County Court. That's where we are tonight. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.